Lonely Attack on the Different World, Web Novel Chapter 96. If gathering three people makes a sage, can't gathering enough people for three sages produce a higher ranking class? Day 37, Nighttime, White Weirdo Inn. Girls Only Assembly, The Baths. Dungeon Emperor San. He was calling her Armored Prez, but apparently she isn't presiding over anything. The name is Angelica. He probably doesn't remember her name as well, despite taming her. At least we should call her properly by her name. It seems Angelica San was staying alone at the lowest, the 100th floor of the dungeon, and apparently she was seized by Stygian darkness. The dungeon, which is also known as the oldest one. She remained there all alone. For almost eternity she was struggling there all on her own, remaining a 17-year-old. Haruka-kun fought the darkness that was holding Angelica-san and repelled it. The darkness could control only a fraction of Angelica-san's power. Thanks to Angelica-san's perpetual resistance, a chance for a battle finally came, and the darkness was driven away. What remained there was Dungeon Emperor in their perfect state. But Angelica-san didn't do anything. She was simply waiting for Haruka-kun to kill her. At this time, she was waiting for someone. Fighting against the darkness, refusing to be swallowed by it, she kept waiting for the end to arrive. And? He tamed her and brought her along. Well, if that's the case, then it's only natural. It obviously would turn out like that. Of course Haruka-kun wouldn't kill her. He wouldn't allow such an end. He wouldn't give the stage to a tragedy. He wouldn't follow destiny. He wouldn't obey fate. There was no way he wouldn't try to rescue her. It wouldn't be Haruka-kun if he didn't save her. That's because Haruka-kun does what Haruka-kun wants, acting as he pleases. If he doesn't like it, then he wouldn't accept it no matter what. That's why he brought her along, to the surface, to the town. Somewhere that isn't engulfed in darkness. Somewhere where she wouldn't be alone. There is no way he wouldn't bring her along. It doesn't matter to him if it's Dungeon Emperor, a job above that of a Dungeon Master. He probably wouldn't care if it was a great king, a holy emperor, or a demon lord. That's why he brought her along, even though she is a Dungeon Emperor. There are a lot of things I want to say. It's a huge issue. But I can't object to this. After all, we also were saved and pulled out of a dark place. It's not the first time he's done this, a repeat offense in a way. And apparently, inside the armor is a skeleton, even though the armor looks very sensual, giving off an impression of a nice-looking body. It is a skeleton. It seems that her previous occupation was Dullahan Lich No Life King. It was probably very tough working at so many positions at the same time. Coming to the town, she joined our girls' only gathering. So today, we decided to reserve the bath for ourselves and enter it together. Even if she is just bones now, she is still a girl. Staying clean is important, and not even to mention that we can't allow a girl to take a bath together with Haruka-kun. And then we removed her armor together. Eh? After getting nice and clean, we step out of the bath, then help her equip the armor? Uh-huh. I remember Haruka-kun mentioning that she turned from a skeleton son to raceless? Yeah. So he doesn't realize what exactly he did. If he knew, his approach would have changed, so he doesn't know. He doesn't realize the gravity of the situation. Just what do we do? It seems we need another girls-only assembly. Let's call for it. Though everyone has had their brains melted by onigiri and new weapons, we have to do it. Even if there is nothing we can do, we must do something. Luckily, Angelica-san can reply with yes or no by nodding or shaking her head. We can communicate. With 21 people, we still have the wisdom worth seven sages. We might be able to come up with some sort of a solution. We have time until tomorrow night. We must think of something until then. What's really important right now is Angelica-san. Her future depends on it. Thinking about Haruka-kun is pointless anyway, so let's just focus on Angelica-san. Just why doesn't he notice? <laughs>